Hi, everyone. Welcome to Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry Daily Devotions. I'm Pastor Judine Derwachter, co-pastor with the MCM. And today I'm going to bring you a daily devotion. I'm so excited about it because it's on Psalm 117. And it is the smallest psalm with only two verses. It is the smallest chapter in the Bible. It's short and sweet, so I get to read the whole thing to you. And let's see what this little something has to say in a big, big way. So Psalm 117, friends, let all the people praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Loud him, all you peoples. For his merciful kindness is great toward us. And the truth of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. That's it. So small in verbiage, big in spirit. And the words that you really want to hear out of this psalm or praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. So again, this psalmist is an Israelite, is Jewish, and it's saying, praise the Lord, all you who are not. Loud him, meaning honor God all you peoples, not just us, not just the Israelites, all you people. And why? For his merciful kindness is great toward us. So we're all recipients of God's merciful kindness. So this is, this is pretty prophetic for an ancient psalmist to be suggesting that all people are to be praising and honoring God because God's mercy and kindness is for all people. I feel like this psalmist is so far ahead of his time. He goes beyond race. He goes beyond the boundaries of race and nationality and really shows us beautifully here how God's mercy and kindness is for everyone. Wow, how perfect for us, right? In these times of unrest, we have a couple pandemics going on. We've got the COVID pandemic, which is why we're bringing you the daily devotions from our homes and our offices where we may be working alone. And of course, we have the pandemic of uh, racism happening, uh, white supremacy, um, abuse of power, etc. cetera. Uh, the whole Black Lives Matter, Blue Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, et cetera, et cetera. That is the context of which I bring to you uh, this, this psalm. And what I know about this as a person of faith, it, as I understand Christ, which we all are on different levels of understanding our relationship as Christians, our relationship with God as siblings in Christ, my understanding of this is so simple. It is, I always tell this cute little story, let's just anthropomorphize God for a moment and make God, you know, a, a person image, right? Which is not at all what I believe about what God is. But one day, we're all going to return home, you know, to that place that we came here from. And when we get there, I always imagine, you know, God standing there with a hand on, you know, her hip and just saying, what were you thinking? You know, you thought that geography was important. You thought that boundaries and state lines were important. You thought that there was some kind of separation between countries. And worst of all, you thought that the color of skin and the culture of, a, of another and the difference of a language, you thought somehow that you were all different and we're not. That's the grand illusion for us friends. It is 
really, really special when you come to the place in your heart where you understand, as I always share, there's only one of us here, one humanity. And the more attached we are to things like our race, and you know, anyone might say easy for you to say you're a white woman. I get that. I respect that. The more attached we are to that, the more attached we are to uh, our culture, that this is how it is, this is the best way to live, the more attached we are to our religion, uh, the more attached we are to our land as geography, the more we suffer. And I think that the psalmist here is so ahead of their time in suggesting just praise the Lord, all of you, all of us, just praise the Lord for the mercy and the kindness that is ours. It is a free gift to us given we came to this planet, which is clearly looks like a madhouse to me and God's mercy abounds regardless of how much we may fail or succeed, depending on what your definitions of those two things are, that God's mercy abounds in all things for everyone, for everyone. So be sure to see each other with the eyes of Christ and hear each other with the ears of Christ and speak to each other with the ear, with the mouth of Christ. In other words, just live to love. Have a blessed day. Take great care. Bye now.